Welcome to another Orn Answer Flash tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to use ActionScript 2 to create an image scrolling application that allows you to scroll large images in a limited box. Also, I'll show you how to use buttons to create a zooming in, zooming out effect on some large images, and also teach you how to get your images to scroll up, I mean, scale up and down without it pixelating and whatnot. So. Let's close this and let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to File, New, and you want to pick ActionScript 2. The next thing you want to do is create two layers, name one ActionScript 2, lock it, name one content, and in the content that's where we're going to put our image. What you want to do is go to File, Import to Library, and find an image that you want. I already, I already have my image. My image is of a glamorous New York model that I always work with. She does great work all the time. It uh, She took that picture for me for free. Very nice of her. So what I want to do is go to insert new symbol and when you create the new symbol make sure it's a movie clip. I'm gonna name mine I am image. Press OK and now as you see uh, white crosshairs. We want to go inside of the library inside of the library then we can select our image and drag it out to stage now most likely your image oh look at her face Ooh, she's so pretty she likes to smile anyway uh, once you have your image out to stage you want to hit control minus you want to be able to see your image so select your image and once you selected your image you want to use your align tools to align it from the left and top so your image ends up where the crosshairs are. Let's go back to scene one because we're done with our image creation. I'll go back to the stage. Make sure your content layer is selected. Go back inside of your library and drag out the new image movie clip that you've created. Of course this new image movie clip is humongous and that's okay. We can zoom out again using our zoom tools located up here and we want to just move it to the corner of our stage. You can see that this movie clip is huge. So the next thing we want to do is we want to put out those buttons that we've created. So what you have to do is just make a button. You can make one button and just rotate that button to act as two. So I have this button of a arrow looking thing. And I'm just going to duplicate it holding my alt key and dragging over and rotating it. And of course you have to name everything inside of your content layer. So select your all your items and give it names. I'm going to call this zoom in. Next one is zoom out. And last but not least is the image. And I'm going to name it IMG. Let's get into the actions. So click on your AS2 layer, the frame, and you can lock your content. We won't be using it anymore. Let's go to actions and let's start typing at some action script too. On enter frame is equal to function parentheses colon and we want to avoid it because we're not returning anything. We want to put open curly brace, close curly brace and, and what we want to do is get a percent of where the mouse is on the stage so we're going to call that x percent which is assigned to the mouse position which is x mouse divided by stage dot width and this will give us a percent of where the mouse is divided by the total stage so when the mouse is all the way on the other side of the stage it will be one if it's all the way at the beginning it will be zero so we want to x percent and if we want to navigate the Y, of course, we need a Y percent. So I'm just going to copy and paste that code and rename everything where there's X, put a Y. And where there's width, put a height. So what we want to do is, of course, change the image X coordinate. So we put image dot underscore X and we assign it the value of X percent multiplied. And we're going to put in parentheses we want to multiply it by the image width, image dot underscore width, 
and we want to multiply that by negative 1. And we also want to add the stage dot width. And I explain exactly what's going on right now. What's happening here is that we want the X of the image to move according to what percent of the mouse it's on. So in other words, if the mouse is on the furthest part of the stage, we want it to, the image to start at the beginning. And when it's at the end of the stage, we want the image to scroll to the end. And we add the state we add the stage width so it has something to balance it out, meaning this stage width, we're adding a boundary. Let's see how it looks. So I start my image from here, and I can scroll all the way to the end of the image. So that piece of code is working. Let me copy and paste it so we can create the same code on the Y value. So wherever there's an X, we put a Y, and wherever there's a width, we put a height. Now our image will scroll with the X and Y so we get to see her pretty face. Oh my goodness. Whew. So hot. And we get to see the whole image. But we also want to code these buttons so we can get a better view. And the way we're going to do that is remember what was the name of our buttons. So we're going to type zoom in dot on press assign it to a function. Of course, that function is also a void function. doesn't return anything. Curly brace. And what we want to say inside here is we want to say that image, img, dot underscore x scale is equivalent to image or assigned to image dot underscore y scale. And we also want to increase the scale because since we're zooming in and we're going to increase it by five so there we go that's exactly how it's going to work we increase the, the y scale and the y scale gets assigned to the x scale so they're all the same value it's just a shortcut so i'm just going to copy this and we're going to do the same thing for the zoom out code but we're just going to be subtracting from the scale so instead of a plus it's a minus and there we go let's see this in action alright we have our beautiful model here can't really see her I mean we can see her but we want to zoom out press the zoom out and now we got a better view of her oh my goodness Whew. I'm, I'm feeling I'm sweating here I'm sweating in my uh, you don't even want to know what I'm wearing right now uh, <laughs> and the zoom in one thing that I want to mention is if you're planning on doing this, you might find that your image looks a little funny for some reason when you zoom in and out. And the way you can correct it is going to the library, going to your image, right clicking on your image, going to properties, and in properties you have to click on the allow smoothing. Now this is a huge image, 3264 by 2448, and by allowing smoothing your image will look a lot better. It does take up some processing if you're trying to be efficient then uh, you got to consider that. Thanks for watching on Enter Flash. I hope this tutorial was helpful, helpful to you. If you like this tutorial, remember to subscribe and rate, comment. And if you got some time on your hands, go to my website on interflash.blogspot.com and click on an ad or two to support me. Because, I mean, who's going to bring you tutorials? Santa Claus? Santa Claus doesn't know ActionScript.